there are two modes of thinking that all of us are familiar with. And there is one mode, one way for thoughts that come to mind, and this is this. I mean, you know about this lady that she's angry just as quickly as you know that her hair is dark. And it's interesting to dwell a bit about this. This is not something, the judgment that she's angry or the impression that she's angry doesn't feel like something you did. It feels like something that happens. It happens to you. We have the basic experience is a passive experience in those judgments. And that is true of perception. We, when we see the world, we don't decide to see it. It is true of impressions. And it is true, in general, of what we call intuitive thinking. It just happens. It comes from somewhere. And we are not the author of it. Now, there is another way that thoughts come to mind. And I mean, here, I suppose, essentially, nothing came to your mind. but. Uh, the answer is, is 408. That to produce the 408 requires a completely different kind of operation. You have to retrieve a program that you learn in school. Uh, the program consists of steps. You have to go through the steps. You've got to uh, pay attention successively to partial products and so on and keep things in mind and keep the whole program in mind. And this is hard work. This is something that you do. It is not something that happens to you. And there are many indications that this is hard work. Uh, one uh, is that physiology indicates that this is hard work. You know, the pupil dilates. This is something that I studied many, many years ago. The pupil really, on, on a program like that, if you're on a problem like that, if you're going to do it uh, in your head, your pupil will dilate. The area will increase by about 50% uh, as, as soon as you engage in that, and it will stay dilated as long as you're working, and it will sort of collapse back to normal size, either when you quit or when you find the answer. So this is another way thoughts come to mind, and this is definitely not the intuitive way. Here we are, we feel a sense of agency, we feel something deliberate is happening, and a very important aspect of it this is effortful, and what psychologists mean by effort is basically, you know, if you want a, a quick introduction to what effort is, this is something you cannot do while making a left turn into traffic. You cannot do it, and you shouldn't try. And the, and the reason is that there is limited capacity to exert effort. And if you are engage that capacity or those resources in one task, less is available for another task. 